This segment of Del Marva Life is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. So just before the break, Lieutenant Tim Robinson talked about crime here on Del Marva. You may remember when he told us about the rising rates of people breaking into cars mm -hmm. and garages. Doesn't it seem like there's always somebody that's after your stuff? The common denominator in a lot of these crimes, people leaving their doors unlocked. Now, that's a simple fix to protect your stuff, but there are other measures you can take to avoid becoming a victim of burglary. And considering a household burglary occurs every 23 seconds, these are steps you want to take. Joining us today to tell us more is State Farm Insurance Agent Gamie Elliott of Salisbury. Gamie, thanks, thanks for Thank you for here. having me. All right, so Gamie, these aren't isolated crimes. This can happen anywhere. It can happen anywhere, whether you live in a house, a condominium, an apartment, whether you're in the city, the suburbs, or rural area. Uh, you just have to really be careful. And there are steps that you can take to protect yourself, your family, and your possessions. Things we can do. Well, let's start outside the house and, and give us some ideas there. Well, there are a couple things you could do. One of the things you could do is to really have much better lighting. Uh, that would really be helpful. So yeah. you need to install really good lights. Uh, it's helpful if they might have timers or motion sensors. Also, another thing you can do is make sure that you keep your trees trim and your bushes trim. Uh, you don't want to provide a place for burglars to hide. And uh. Pick up tools and ladders around your property because you do, a lot of times burglars could use those tools to access your home. So you really want to be careful with things like that. I've seen people leave ladders on their homes. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. like you're just giving them a tool to, a way in. to help. Right. Okay, so Lieutenant Robinson mentioned garage safety and now that really just comes down to common sense, doesn't it? Well, the common sense thing is if you have a garage, go ahead and park your car in the garage and close the door. That way you always keep people guessing whether you're home or not. and and you really want to keep them guessing. You don't want them to know you're away. Right. Okay, so we're coming up on the holidays. Right. A lot of people travel, and we don't want the house to look like we're not there. Right. There are several things you can do in order to make sure that it looks like that you're home. Key things like keeping your uh, uh, yard free of leaves and right. debris, yeah. uh, your driveways, walkways, things like that. You just mm -hmm. want to make sure that they're really clear. Uh, you don't want papers to pile up while you're away. You'll ha need to stop that delivery. So that's a, those are some things that you can do as well as uh, you might want to have the post office, stop your mail, yeah. uh, uh, all kinds of things that you can do. Just make it look like you're still at home. What about, what about the telephone? The telephone, a lot of times uh, you want to turn the volume down really low because a loud ringing phone is a key indication that you're not home. And another thing you can do is have all your calls forwarded to your cell phone. Oh, so that's you another thing idea. you can do. Yeah. All right. And that's something obviously we can do inside. There's other things we can do inside. Take a good look at our locks. Uh, it would be a great idea to take a good look at your locks and have really strong door locks. Uh, it's really important. You want to make sure you have an ANSI grade one door lock. Uh, deadbolt locks on all your exteriors and also you want to change your locks when you move or anything like that but a, a really good grade lock is when you have at least a, a, a four screw strike plate with at least three inch screws and you okay. just want to make sure that you have the best lock because that's where burglars can kick at the door jam and, and bust your door down so having a real strong lock is a really important part. Okay so I feel like I really did a, a smart thing I went out and got a, a fireproof safe for all my important documents but it's not just a safe safe, There's, is it? There is more to having a fireproof safe. Uh, first of all, we recommend that you have two fireproof safes, one for your valuables and then another one for your important documents and data. And bolt them to the floor because we just get so many claims where people say somebody came in and stole my fireproof my safe. safe. <laughs> so please bolt it to the floor. They usually have an area where you can bolt it right to the floor Never and be safe. That. Mm -mm. that is very interesting. Okay, we also need to pay close attention to where we place uh, items like our TV. Exactly. A lot of times folks will, you know, the burglars will look in the windows and see things that they like, whether it's your big screen TV or if you have things like uh, other appliances or electronics or money. People leave those laying right by the mm -hmm. window. If a burglar sees that, there, there's a really good chance that they're going to break in. You can also lower your blinds or close your drapes. Right. Uh, that, that'll help you protect yourself. So there are little things that you can do in order to just be a little bit see it safer. You know, uh, burglars like it when it's easy access, and mm -hmm. if you make it a little bit more difficult, then that'll deter them. They'll, they might pick another home or, or decide they don't want to do the project at all. So don't make it easy don't for them. Don't make it easy We just got to think some of these things through, don't we? Yeah. Exactly. 
Exactly. Common sense. Gamey, thank you. Great. Thanks so for having me. To read more from State Farm Insurance about what Gamey discussed today, including additional steps you can take to avoid becoming a victim of burglary, go to WBOC.com, click on our picture at the top of the page. Now, here's something else you wouldn't want in your home. A rat. Yeah, this little guy quickly became cool. an internet sensation, but he also represents a growing pest problem. And pests are seeking refuge in your home this time of year. We're going to talk about some ways to let rodents and insects know they are not welcome. And this is a creepy crawler you don't want to get too close to. This Canadian caterpillar is popping up far from home. Its fuzzy black spines have venom to warn off predators. But it can also be harmful to humans. We're going to hear the story behind this venomous caterpillar a little bit later on. Delmarva Life will be right back.